Well, they do have a UV shirt, but uh, I mean, I, I do like it, but it would really depend on the price. That's quite cheap. What is going on guys, welcome back to the free football shirt collection series. The series where we go and buy football related products, try and flip them for a profit and then use that profit to buy football shirts. In the last episode, spoiler alert, there's two spoilers here. We picked this up, I was planning on selling it but it's beautiful so we're keeping it. And then we picked up a controversial Felipe Coutinho shirt which I am keeping and it's not no longer, I'm not going to call it controversial anymore. I do it just in case you didn't see the last episode but... That, to me, isn't controversial. He did his best for Villa to try and win Liverpool the league. Not that he did it specifically for that reason, but it nearly worked. And, of course, his money paved the way for the current club. So, all is forgiven, Felipe. D don't come back, but all is forgiven. Thank you very much for your service. That is probably the gem of the collection right now, because it's the shirt that's worth the most. It's probably worth about 40 to 50 believe it or not. I did put a value of 30 on it. So let's give you some figures before we dive in today's, into today's retail arbitrage, if you will. Uh, to, the total profit of the series is £63, and the collection value right now is 85 Now, I did mention this in the last episode, that collection value is conservative. It's probably a little bit more, but I just want to make it as... I don't know, true and realistic as possible. I don't wanna, I don't want to ever overvalue anything because, you know, inflating figures only boosts a, a very short-term sort of satisfaction or ego. You'll look at it and you'll go, oh, my collection's worth £100. But if you actually wanted to sell it, if you needed to sell it, you're going to be disappointed because it's like, oh, yeah, I lied. I forgot about that. If I'm being... If I'm sort of lowballing it and I'm knocking under where the collection value actually is, if I ever need to sell it for like whatever reason, like I, I need a, I don't know, I need money for a vet bill or something, and I absolutely have to sell a shirt or, or several shirts, I know that I've got £85 minimum in my collection and I can sort of unlock that if I need to. And I do the same with the video game collection that's been hidden by Coutinho. But yes. So I'm in a I'm in a retail store. It's a, an outlet now. Outlets uh, I'm guessing they're they're the same sort of premise around the world because I've been to like shopping outlets in Orlando and things, and they are basically the same. Uh, they are discount stores that are outside of a town, generally speaking. Anyway, so the ones that I'm in right now, the one in Swindon, which is just a little bit outside the town, and they normally have very good discounts on you know it's sort of they it's where old football shirts go to die i think they basically just send like the last year's shirts and it's not just football shirts it's it's trainers it's clothing in general and whatever store that you're in converse for example has some really good deals on like last season's trainers and things um you know they, they discount them so football shirts in there generally tend to be a lot cheaper than what they are if you go into an actual Adidas or Nike store. The Nike store, by the way, in Swindon, shocking. It had one Chelsea shirt in there, and it was like in a yellow away one from a seat last season or the season before. Didn't look at the price because I, I don't want it, uh, but it only had one. So I'm in Adidas, and I'm looking around, and they've got a lot of shirts. There's a German um, away, like the blackout type kit. They've got the home shirt, they've got Arsenal shirts, United shirts. Picked up a couple of Ajax shirts as well. I say couple, just the one. If they had an away Ajax shirt, I definitely would have pulled the trigger on that. But I'm looking around, and there are some nice shirts there. There's a nice UV jacket as well. If it was black, I definitely would have bought it, but it was like a whitey cream colour, and I just don't think it would have suited me too, too well. Um, but I had £63 to spend. The beauty of this particular trip, and the reason really that I went there on that particular day was that they had an additional 20% off in store. So not only is it a retail outlet store, which is discounted anyway, they had an additional 20% off. So football shirts that are normally £25 in this store, because nearly every shirt is £25, actually now £20. And I think you know where this is going. We had 60. If shirts are 20, fast math, we could probably get three. Did I buy three? Did I buy them to keep them? Did I buy them to sell? Which ones did I buy? All those questions will be answered after the... I'm joking, there is no break. Unless I put an ad in there, and in which case, oh, I'm funny. So, £63 to spend. Shall we get into the pickups? The, there was an Ajax shirt there, right? And 
I don't know whether it's just me, and I really want Ajax fans to, to answer. And I know that it's going to be difficult to be uh, critical of your own shirt, but I'm, I do it with Liverpool shirts, right? So, for example, the current season Liverpool shirt with the orange, I don't like it. I don't understand the orange. It makes no sense to me. Why have they done it, right? It should have been white uh, at the very, you know, very worst yellow or something. But orange, I, di I didn't get it. And I, I, d I don't really like it. I'm not a fan of it. Ajax fans, has your shirt changed in the last 10 years? Because every time I look at it, maybe not 10 years. You know the Zigo sponsor that you have? I think that's what it's called. That has been around for a long time. But I can never really tell the difference between a shirt that came out three or four years ago to the shirt that you have now. I'm looking at it and I was like, what year is this? Because they all look the same. Do you feel that way? Or can you actually tell the difference every time? Because I know the Liverpool shirts change, but I, you know, I'm a, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I can, I can see the difference. A lot of people might go, I don't know which year this is from because they look too similar. I don't know. Let me know what you think, Ajax fans. And if you're not an Ajax fan, but you do have experience in Ajax shirts, let me know what you think about that as well. So, shall we get into the first one? Um, I'm going to do the obvious one first because it's the one that you would have seen me pick up and it's the one that I think, oh my god, this bag is noisy and the shirt I want rather typically is at the bottom. Um, it's the one that kind of made me want to go and buy them in the first place. It is the Bayern Munich shirt and I, I mean, I'm going to have to check to see what year it is exactly because I can't, it's the, the 2020 shirt. I think this is just the away and not the third, but I, I mean, that is unreal nice. It is so nice. Uh, it's like a it's, it's like a fluorescent orange. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up properly and decompression from YouTube or whatever it's called will probably ruin it, but that is such a nice shirt. It looks so, so good. It is a, I think all the shirts I pick up are a large, which is pretty much bang on the size I need. So big, big price there, as you can see, 25 pound. But I did have an additional 20% off. Now, how can I prove to you that I didn't overspend here? Do I have a receipt? It's a good question. The answer, yes, I do. So I'm just going to show you the total value uh, of what we spent and then the discount. So hopefully that focuses. It says £60 spent, £15 discount, which if you work out for three shirts, £5 a shirt, it's £15. So definitely got these for 60 might as well take it off now. Total profit of the series is down to £3. We're in trouble. We can't go out and buy any more shirts for the collection. Because, spoiler alert, I'm keeping this. The back of it, just the standard FC Bayern Munchen. And, of course, the front of it. You've already had a close-up, but the front of it is gorgeous. Love it. That's been in a bag for, like, a week waiting to record this. And I haven't been able to, like, take the tags off. I, I don't know if I... See, I hate that. I want to wear them. But I don't like taking tags off things. Like, I don't pe like peeling cellophane off things. You know when you get a new phone and you've got that cellophane to peel off? People love doing that. I hate it. I, like, I've got a, a TV downstairs and it still has cellophane on the, on the feet because I just want to keep it pristine. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, should we get into the next shirt? This, I mean, I suppose for... It, it's, not, it's not controversial in the sense of... Um, they're a rival team. I mean, they technically would be if we played them, obviously. But this is just a shirt that I really like. It's an international shirt. And if you're an English fan, I guess you probably wouldn't. In fact, and I don't think I had this on the recording, because this is what... I went in the shop twice. The first time I went in there was just a little scout. The second time was to record and then to pick up the shirts I actually wanted. The first time I went in there, I was looking at this shirt. And there's someone flicking through and he's like, oh, there's a medium left. And then they were like having a discussion. It was, he was probably like 18, 19. And he put it back. He went, no, I can't get that. I'm English. And I thought, yeah, to be fair, that does make sense. Why would you want this as an English you know, person? But I'm not English. So I get away with it a little bit more. And this is the German blackout shirt. This is, I mean, this is insane. I love this. I really do like this shirt. Every little thing about it is quality. Now, I'm struggling here, I don't know why, because I can't see where things are. The badge, obviously it's blackout, but you're gonna get to see it. I'll give you a little close-up over, like an overlay or whatever. So again, just, you know, just in case you don't believe me, uh, this was 25, I do have the tags here as well. I don't think the price is actually on the tag. I tell you why, I had to ask. Um, they didn't have a large on display for this shirt, and I had to ask them if they had any more at the back, and thankfully they did. Um, why should you not want this if you're English? 
just because of the rivalry that they have in football and the whole history with penalties. Being Welsh, I have absolutely no beef uh, with with Germany. Like in terms of football, like there's just we very rarely, if ever, play them. I think we've played them once in the last like ten years or something. Did we lose three one? Can't remember. Either way. I like that a lot. Big, big fan of it. I really like blackout shirts, and I know Dortmund's blackout shirt was like the original blackout, and then everyone started copying them. I'm not, I don't care. Like, I know that, that, um, this is the away shirt from 2019, by the way. Um, they're obviously going to have a new one for the World Cup and everything, and if Wales qualify for the World Cup, then I will absolutely not wear it during that period. But I, I'm okay with owning shirts of, of rival nations, if you will. It's, that's not much of a problem. I, that is glorious. I love that. How, I mean, it's so simple. I and mean, the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but I mean, obviously, it's the German flag on the ends of the sleeves. But it's just the way that it looks. I love it. I'm a big fan of that shirt. That and the Bayern Munich shirt are hands down better than the next one. But the next one I'm going to show you, because I don't think I showed you in the footage, and I don't think you'd have any idea what's coming. You're probably trying to think of uh, teams that are sponsored by Adidas. And you'll probably think of a major one. And it is one of the major clubs in the world. And again, a little bit controversial this one. But to be honest, I bought it for a reason. And I'll show you why. So, it's a, a very manly colour. It's ugh, Real Madrid. Look at, I mean, look how bright that is. If I wore that, you would see me coming. Incidentally, this was recorded before the Champions League final, and to be quite frank, I'm very tempted to sell it because I don't think I ever want a Real Madrid shirt in my collection. I'm not bitter. You are. Um, I do like it, but at the same time, it's not something I'm overly crazy about, and then we could get some profit back into the series. That is such a bright shirt. It is, I think, again, is it the away? It must be the away shirt of 2020. Just checking it's real. Uh, does it have a price on this one? Yeah, much smaller, but it is a price. So it was originally 70. The outlet price is uh, down to 25. And of course we had that additional 20 off as per the receipt. But this shirt, I didn't actually see it until quite late. I was only gonna get two. I really, what did I want? I, I was debating whether to get the Ajax shirt. We wouldn't have had enough, incidentally, if I wanted to get that Ajax shirt, I don't think, because it was 30, not 25 for some reason. But in the end, I opted for this. Now, there is a reason for it. A, I actually don't mind it. I think it's quite nice. Will I ever wear it is debatable, to be honest, because Real Madrid are a team that Liverpool tend to play quite often. We play Bayern Munich every now and again, but it's not that common. Plus, the shirt is just so nice, I can't not do it. Germany, again, Wales very rarely play Germany, so it is what it is. This is almost a yearly fixture with Liverpool. So do I really want to be wearing a Real Madrid shirt as a Liverpool fan, especially at the moment? No, obviously I don't. The badge, though, it's like, oh, it's like a, is it silicone or something or whatever they call it? It's like basically like a rubber, but it's, oh, it's so nice. Every badge should be this way. It's such a nice badge. I like it. I mean, the design of the badge is fine, but just the texture of that. Oh, oh beautiful. Um, this will be worth something in the future because every, if you're like, obviously you can go into more detail with it. But rule of thumb, the way I see it anyway, is away shirts, and in particular, third shirts, sell for a lot more from seasons gone. Is this series an investment series? No, but yes at the same time. So, you know, the way that we're calculating the profit and the collection value and things, we're doing it so that we have an idea of how much the collection is worth and whether we've done well or not. But also, I'm doing it for future reference, really, because at some point in the future, Assuming I don't die in the next 25 years, at some point I will probably sell this collection. And it's the same with the video game collection. I'll keep it for as long as I want to, but you know, in the future I'm probably going to want to sell it because I may be interested in something else or I need to raise funds for something. So it's an investment. And when it comes to football shirts, I'm not saying every single time, but away shirts and like I said in particular third shirts, are they're a lot more scarce than home shirts, because home shirts is the most common one that people will buy. But the, the away, and like I said in particular the third, they're always the ones that are bought the least. Even though the third shirt tends to be the nicest of the lot normally, because they're so different. But they don't make as many 
and they're not bought as often and then they become a little bit more rarer and then they are worth a lot of money and if you need any sort of um evidence of this i might throw some examples on screen for you but all you need to do is go type in any club you can think of third shirt and then type in a year 2017 and and back and you will see that they're worth at least what they were originally worth if not more and a lot of them are worth more there's an inter milan third kit and i sold this quite a while ago now um, it cost me i think 25 pound in an outlet i sold it for 120 pound and it wasn't even that long after. I think I bought it in an outlet in 2017. And I sold it. It had Skriniar 37 on the back. And I specifically wanted it because 37 is my favourite number. Skriniar, great player. But, you know, Inter Milan, great club. I like them. And I like their kits normally. But I just didn't need it. And I looked at the price of it and I was like, wow, that's insane. So I stuck it up and it sold for like £120. Wow. Um, just because it's a third shirt and it wasn't that common. Just, I mean investment right and that's why you'll see that a lot of the shirts that i'm buying are not the home shirts of these clubs just for not just for that reason but they do look a lot nicer let's be honest anyway um total profit three pound collection value uh in this instance i'm going to just put 25 pound on each item because we had an additional 20 percent off that's not a common thing it was just for two days it was friday and saturday in swindon outlet on those particular two days if you went there now they wouldn't have it on it was like fashion week or something they were calling it um so you can't get that off anymore so if you go back there now you'd have to pay 25 pound per shirt so we'll just add 25 pound to the collection per shirt so as you can tell, uh, this is a long time in the future. I recorded this ages ago. Um, I had to do updated totals because they were always wrong uh, because I miscalculated something in the previous episode. And then when I was recording in bulk, it kind of... Anyway, you don't need to know that. Bit of a... Not a spoiler. Put it there on purpose. Um, that is upcoming in, a, in another video. And it may or may not be going into the collection. And there may be a reason why. Uh, but the updated totals are collection values £170. And the total profit is a measly £3. So we need, in the next episode, to go out, buy some things, sell some things, make some money. Because at the moment, if something pops up that I want to buy to put into the collection, I'm a little bit screwed. Um, I've ordered everything I needed to get everything above me how I need it to display shirts, to hang shirts, and so on. So not in the next episode, maybe not even the episode after that because I've recorded a little bit more into the future, but eventually this camera will be flipped around and you will see all the shirts in the background, very much like you do with the video games. But yes, that's going to complete yet another episode. So if you enjoyed a little bit of retail therapy, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.